Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo, and today I'm here to talk more about Fire Emblem Three Houses. And in this video, I'm here to talk about five things that I am hyped for in this game. So let's get right on into it. So guys, it's not long until Fire Emblem Three Houses release. Just a few weeks, actually, what would that be, like two weeks from now? On July 26, actually pretty close to my birthday, gonna have to cop that as a birthday present of sorts, but it's coming out really soon, and I'm pretty hyped for the game, and there's, there's some reasons that I'm gonna be sharing with you why I'm so hyped for that. So let's start with number one. These aren't in any specific order, it's just kind of the order that I wrote the script I guess um, but this is gonna be actually the first time I beat a Fire Emblem game fully so to give you a little bit of an idea of my Fire Emblem background it's not huge I've played a little bit of some Fire Emblems here and there like a few levels but the ones I've played the most are Awakening and the mobile game Fire Emblem Heroes However, with Awakening, I actually wasn't playing on original 3DS hardware. I was emulating the game. I had sold my 3DS. I didn't have access to uh, a copy at that time. So I emulated the game and it was going great. It was working fairly well. There were some issues with Citra, but eventually the hard drive I had the save data stored on died it, it just broke and my save data is gone it's just gone forever there's nothing I can do about that and so I ended up never beating the game because I got about halfway through and I just didn't feel like playing through the game again and so I'm really excited to finally play and own a Fire Emblem game on an actual console actual hardware on the Nintendo Switch and play it all the way through from beginning to end. Probably won't hyper percent it, but I'll at least beat the entire campaign. Number two, I'm excited that it's coming back to home consoles. While Fire Emblem is typically on portable systems, it has been on home consoles before a long time ago. I think the last one was on Wii, that was like Radiant, Radiant Dawn or whatever it was. I didn't actually play it, um, but that was back on the Wii. So it's been a long time since it's come to home consoles. And while I like portable systems, I thought the DS Lite was great, my 3DS was awesome, I've always preferred home consoles. So for Fire Emblem to come back, back to home consoles um, is great. Third point, it's more than just battling. One thing about Fire Emblem that I've never been a huge fan of is that it's been pretty much just battles. That's, that's most of the game. Now maybe they changed this after Awakening, but that's the one I've played the most. And in that game, it's pretty much just you battle, you move a little bit on an overworld map, you maybe hit a shop, you battle again, you maybe talk to get some very, very basic side dialogue from characters. You battle again. It just nothing really in between battles to change things up. And that is not the case for Three Houses. In Three Houses, they give you the school grounds, which actually looks bigger than I thought it was going to be. And it's a place you can actually kind of, well, explore, I guess. Um, you can kind of explore, but it's mostly about running around doing a bunch of different activities there's actually a ton of different activities you can do if you check fire emblem website you can see all the different activities there's tons of different things you can do um while you're at the school and it just gives you a nice break in between battling to do something a little bit different to actually have the chance to control your character freely in a uh, overworld where you can just run around and do different things without just battling which of course battling is great that's the main thing about fire emblem and i always think it should be but i'd like to have something in between like we are getting with the school grounds but of course battling is and always will be the main part hopefully of fire emblem and we are getting some new things for battling and that's my number four now again i only really have experience with awakening so if some of these things are introduced in like fates or something like that i'm sorry but i'm going off of my limited fire emblem experience to share why i'm hyped for this new game so maybe these aren't reasons you're hyped because you've already seen some of this stuff before but i haven't personally but it seems they added some cool new things to the battling of the game which i really like the first one of those is some kind of advanced war like battalion system 
I really liked in Advance Wars how when you had a troop on field, it wasn't just that troop. It wasn't just like a group of commanders and no foot soldiers, kind of like it is in Awakening. You're just a bunch of commanders. There's no real foot soldiers that you ever really see that often. But in Advance Wars, it, when you went into a battle, it actually zoomed in and you saw that, well, that troop was actually multiple troops. And it kind of signified how much health they were taking by how many troops were still alive. And it, it also, you know, could tell how much damage you can do. And they're sort of doing something similar to that. Not exactly like that, but similar to that in this game. So you can sign different battalions to different characters in order to either make up for a weakness or boost a certain strength. And you also have a special move called a Gambit that you can use with this battalion. I'm not exactly sure if the battalion can die off and weaken that particular uh, troop like you can in Advance Wars, but it is still very cool. Now this next one you guys might call me a casual Fire Emblem fan, which I guess technically I am. I've never even beaten a Fire Emblem game. But something I thought was really cool actually is Divine Pulse. So essentially, Divine Pulse lets you rewind time a couple times during the battle so that if you lose a party member, you don't have to restart the entire battle, but just go back a few turns and fix your mistake. Of course, it's not broken. It's not unlimited amounts. You can't just be like, oh man, I failed. I guess I'll just rewind time 20 times. No, you can't do that. But there's a limited amount of uses that you can use per map, which I think is cool because if you're like me, you get really frustrated redoing battles over and over again. I don't like redoing parts of games. Uh, I just really don't. I like games where it's like Breath of the Wild where you die, you maybe go back a little bit, but your progress is still kept. You don't have to keep redoing the same thing over and over again. Those are the kind of games I like. I don't really enjoy games where I have to redo large sections of the game over and over again. So for me, this is actually a great mechanic that will greatly enhance my experience and make it so much more enjoyable for me. And the final thing they added is called Combat Arts. So combat arts are more powerful moves that you can choose to use whenever you want. However, they weaken the durability of a certain weapon you're using. Of course, weapon durability goes down any move you make, but these combat arts make it go down way faster. So essentially, you're trading durability for a really powerful attack, which I think adds a lot more strategy to the game. But on to number five, my final point, and that is, this is all in one game. One thing I really, really didn't like about Fates is that in order to play through the entire story, you essentially had to buy three different games. And it's not like Pokemon where you can buy one game and you can just kind of trade with other people of the other games to get all the Pokemon and you essentially get the entire game. Maybe with, you know, with Sword and Shield, maybe you miss out on one gym and you get a different gym instead. But it's nothing major. It's not, it's not like an entire new campaign and story like as far as I know it is with Fates. However, in three houses, this is not the case. There is one game on one cart. All you have to do is pop that bad boy in and choose one of the three houses. And you have all the content there on one game. So if you end up not liking the house you picked, well, just, just try again. You don't have to buy a whole new game. So guys, there you have it. Those are my five things that I am hyped about for Fire Emblem Three Houses. But there's probably a bunch of other things that you guys are hyped about. Maybe you're a much bigger Fire Emblem fan and there are some more nuanced things that I didn't take into consideration that you are super hyped about. Let me know down in the comments below. But also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon for notifications of all my videos because you're not going to want to miss all my coverage of Fire Emblem Three Houses and other Nintendo games. And I'll see all you guys later on What About Nintendo. Bye!